The Warhawk is to be part of a family, and the bond that we have is keeps us all together. It's all about brotherhood and responsibility, how we take care of each other. This isn't just a rugby club. There's, there's more that we can do for these boys. There's more that programs like this can do to help the youth benefit. Warhawks were founded about 11 years ago. It was started by a couple older rugby guys. It was just not a whole lot of diversity in terms of athletic options out here in Oakland. So they wanted to present them an option for the kids, um, especially with the demographic that we have, you know, a large um, Hispanic, Polynesian, um, who are amazing at rugby. We just wanted to give them that option. So that, that's what started off um, in terms of our code of conduct and kind of what separates us between any other program. It's really what defines us. The expectations are grades are above all, right? They're student athletes, students first. So we do hold them accountable for grades. We do grade checks. Uh, and then we also monitor the grades and their classes as they go along through the season. We offer tutoring as a part of our enrichment program to make sure that the kids do have every tool, every opportunity that they have to try and better themselves and kind of try to get them in a better position. A lot of things that aren't offered, you know, in either in the school district or aside, or, you know, due to financial issues, we don't want that to be the reason the kid doesn't succeed. Any a 2.0 average, no Ds, no Fs, it's very straight because uh, if you don't have um, 2.0 or good enough grades, you get to sit out and it teaches you about, a lot about responsibility, how you grow up and you're supposed to learn and take care of your own things. Grades and all that tutoring, it applies to all of us because it teaches us about our future and how we should like look forward to what's gonna happen in life. These rules, they really helped a lot because keeps us in check, keeps our school on track and keeps us ready and prepared for the future. D's and F's won't get you disqualified, but it's just it just kind of puts you on our radar. So it kind of tests us as coaches to make sure that, okay, we need to watch these kids. We need to be more so on them to figure out what we need to do as coaches in the program and what we need to offer them to get some success out of that. So grades are required, otherwise you can't play. I think I found how important that was my senior year. So my junior year uh, was my first time playing rugby and we won the championship. Uh, we had a lot of people for the first time played and we won. My senior year, we had everyone returned besides four players. And we were already knowing that we are going to win that year. But for a lot of players, grades was in a, a, a big thing in their mind. And so with that, we had to learn a lesson and they canceled our whole season. I remember my grades was fine and I always did what I needed to do. But that taste was very bitter. And I knew that taste was very bitter for a lot of our teammates. But I honestly believe that that really helped us to learn that in the long run and not just that certain event. Very different when you hear the stories and the struggles that these kids are going through. So it kind of makes you rethink things in a different perspective. And it's more and more pressure on me to emphasize communication with these boys. So for them to be able to communicate, but they're, they're prideful and they're quiet and they're shy. And um, a lot of times they don't feel like their struggles are my struggles. Um, some of the boys luckily do see that and they do see the value in communication and knowing that our coaches and our programs here to help. My path would have been simple. I would have been out in the street selling drugs or something or drinking until I pass out on the couch. I was growing up, my brother was a drunk and my dad was too. I didn't want to be an addict when I grew up, so I had to start doing something about it. Life before rugby, I got in a lot of trouble, hanging around school too much, didn't really go home early, so rugby is what kept me busy and out of trouble. I joined the Warhawks because of my friends, uh, came out, told me about it. When I first started playing, it was fun because I had a lot of family members around me. I don't just come around and mess around, I just come play, have fun. We understand that not all the kids are going to go to collegiate rugby or upper level, you know, upper level echelon of rugby or something like that. So we do need to understand that every kid that comes in and out of that program, that we still want them to take something out of it. So whether it goes into their career or if they end up going to school, they still kind of remember the little lessons, not so much about whether they won or lost, but really what did they win or lose personally that they can take on with them with the rest of their life. We have a 100% graduation rate, which in some areas of California or across the states isn't that big of a deal. But when you are talking about a demographic where you know only about 30 or 40% of kids graduate, most of them have some experience with gang violence or domestic violence or something like that. It's it's much more of an accomplishment. I've heard firsthand from a lot of boys that you know, coach, I never would have thought of even going to college if it wasn't for this program or you know from from what I learned from this program. 
Um, and then, you know, college isn't for all the kids. So some of the kids that have ended up going straight into um, a career, we've had some players go to OPD, uh, Oakland Police Department. Um, we've had some kids go into some vocational careers and stuff, and they get to carry on the lessons that they've learned from this program. Uh, we've had a couple of kids that end up going overseas in uh, Australia and New Zealand um, that are playing professionally. So there's that aspect, cool. And sometimes it makes you forget. It's like, oh yeah, we are a rugby team. That there's, <laughs> there's that option too that we get. You know, those boys that succeed in that in that path. So there's a lot of those success stories and. Um, as the years go on, I, I see more of these success stories. I get more and more invested in this program, and I love every one of those kids for it.